Hello everybody, my name is Ron Isaac Bear from Bear Science Club and our chess game is over. Check me. And today we're going to be seeing how Newton's third law relates to conservation of momentum. Not gonna be the most detailed gun in town. So here we just got the trigger. Alright, so here is our gun. I know it's ugly, but so now, uh, let's say this gun is five kilograms and it's at rest right now. And it has a bullet loaded inside it, which is also at rest. And this bullet has a mass of 0 0.002 kilograms or just two grams. So the question is, after the um, after the gun is shot, uh, then the bullet comes out. Let's just uh, redraw the gun for a second. So after the gun is fired, not sure exactly what I'm drawing here, but the bullet goes out at a velocity of 800 meters per second. If so, what is the recoil velocity of the gun. Okay, well, we can actually use conservation of momentum here. But first, I want you to see the relationship between Newton's third law and the conservation of momentum. Here, you might first realize that when the gun exerts a force on the bullet, the bullet exerts the same force back on the gun. So if I, for example, punch the conservation of momentum, then uh, the whiteboard punches back at me. So. Right, F A B equal to. Right. So F A B is equal. So now, how do we find this? Well, we can use the conservation of momentum. So the <coughs> momentum of the system before in total is equal to the momentum of the system after in total. So that's the momentum. That's the momentum of the bullet plus the momentum of the gun before is equal to the momentum of the bullet after plus the momentum of the gun after. <sighs> okay, MBVB plus MGVG is equal to MBVB prime. We don't need to put a prime on the MB because M did not change before and after and then the prime, by the way, represents uh, the uh, quantity after the collision has taken place. And we have MGVG prime over here. So now we know that initially here, VB and VG are both to zero. So we can just set these both to zero. And so we see that we have this, MBVB prime plus MGVG prime. The more experienced of you, uh, no, this is not a B. The more experienced of you probably already see the solution in your head, but I'm going to work it out step by step. For those of you who aren't that familiar with algebra, we subtract MBVB prime for both sides, giving us minus MBVB prime is equal to MGVG prime. Thus, dividing by MG on both sides gives us VG prime is minus MBVB prime over mg. Now we simply multiply or plug in. Whoops. So now we have minus uh, mb is going to be 0 0.002 vb prime. We know that after the gun is fired, it goes at 800 meters per second. And mg of the mass of the gun is simply 5. So now 800 over 5 is 160 and this math problem should become pretty trivial from there, just minus 0.32. Let's try and see what happened if we plug this back in. Is momentum really conserved before and after? So let's see if momentum really is conserved. Both sides should be equal here. So we have MVVB plus MZVG 
is equal to MBVB prime plus MGVD prime. Okay, so now we have zero plus zero over here is equal to MB, which would be 0 0.002, VB prime, which is 800, plus MG, which is 5, and VG, which is minus 0 0.32. And you might be asking, why minus 0 0.32? Why the minus? Well, that's because since we define the bullet as going in the positive direction, the gun must recoil in the opposite direction, which is negative. Okay, so now let's see if these are really equal. So we have zero is equal to what's 0.002 times 800? I wonder. Oh, it should be 1.6 because you gotta bring this two up by two zeros and then you gotta multiply by eight. And five times minus 0.32 is very simple, also 1.6. And that gives you zero on both sides. Wow. Well, that's it for today. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. And by the way, don't forget to celebrate Black History Month by going to this website up here, blackscientist.tech, to commemorate the work that black scientists have done in our community. Now may I distribute the homework?